everyone, welcome back to JD Mods. Today we're going to be showing you a how-to video on making your own seat brackets for racing seat. And we are going to be showing you on my 1992 Lexus LS400. So this is the bracket that our rails will be mounted to. This is our completed one for the driver's side that we did off camera. We just did it to make sure it could be done in time for my car to be insured next week. So at the very least we would have a driver's seat. But now we're going to be doing the step-by-step -step on making the passenger side. So even though we're showing you this on my Lexus LS400, the process will be really similar on pretty much any car. And the first step will be removing the stock tabs off of the stock seat. And as you can see, that is what we use on our bracket for the driver's seat. So to remove the tabs, you have to start off by drilling out the rivets. tabs removed we're going to wire wheel them to remove rust and paint and get them ready to be welded. You can see that we've wire wheeled the paint and rust off of the surfaces that are, surfaces that are going to be welded and we are now in the car and Kyle is going to put the brackets where they go and yeah. then we're going to measure how big our rail needs to be. Well, we already have our pieces of metal cut because we are using the driver's seat one that we already made for reference but if you were to measure it out Kyle's going to show you how you would go about doing that. All right so we have the tabs bolted down to the car like Ali said and basically we're just using uh, steel tubing I believe it's 8th inch wall steel tubing and basically I like to start with the side tabs here so um, say you want to make a piece of metal to span those two tabs just measure the maximum distance which as you can see is 14 inches so I cut a inch by 2 inch at 14 inches and the reason that we went inch by two inch rather than inch by one inch is that the aftermarket seat is narrower than the stock seat. So as you can see, this allows us to bring our bolting points from here to say here. Um, and then once you have the ones on the side made up, so that's two at 14 inches for the LS400, you'll see that one will also go right over there. And then it's kind of hard for me to show you because I don't have eight hands. Oh, but I'll try my best. <laughs> Then, just measure the distance between those two, which will be very hard for me to show you, but I got 15 inches, and then cut two more pieces at 15 inches, and it'll be something like that, and that. And so now, we're just going to go ahead and take him out of the car, lay him on a flat surface, and weld these four pieces into a frame. it up and the next step will be putting it onto the tabs and tack welding it. The only thing being if you are doing this for an LS400 is it's actually not level um, from the left side of the car to the right on either driver or passenger seat. There's a bit of an angle to it. So Kyle's actually cut these little blocks that we're going to weld in between the right side bracket and the uh, frame to make it level. So that's where the frame goes and then just make it as square as possible set it down on the tabs so I'm gonna probably do it something like that I'll finesse it a little bit off camera and then we're just gonna tack weld it in place and finish the welds outside the car tabs are fully welded on now and we painted it with rust-oleum for some rust protection so we also took the stock seat belt bracket off the stock seat and we cut it off and put it onto the aftermarket rail alright so the last step was to take the aftermarket seat with the rails and place it on our custom frame and then all we did was spot four holes that are pre-made in the aftermarket seat rails and then we just drilled through holes through our frame now we're just using nut and bolts we're using nut and bolts rather than welding so that it's adjustable and that we can remove them if we get new seats and we can use our rails just the same or our frame sorry and now once we tighten all these up it'll be ready to go in the car Passenger seat is officially bolted in, as is the driver's seat, and they are very, very sturdy. They are not going anywhere. And we also did the short shifter today, put the shift boot on our little aftermarket plate there, my new shift knob, and it's all coming together very nicely. For watching, if you want to see more on the LS400 drift build, please like, comment, and subscribe.